You know, there's a device that we use in drumming, and we use it in all styles of music, really. Uh, it's called the cross stick. And as I travel around, a lot of younger players don't seem to know how to get that sound. But we use this cross stick sound. We use this sound in rock music, in Latin music, and in jazz music. Um, this, the sound is achieved by gripping the stick, putting the bead or the tip of the stick on the drum, and then, uh, then hitting the rim of the drum. I like to keep this part of my hand on the drum. And these fingers, these three fingers, they don't go under the stick, because then you can't get the sound. They, they create almost a, a little base of operations like you're shooting pool. And that's how you create the sound. Now some players, they leave the stick on the rim, and some players pull it off the rim and it gets a different sound. It's a little fuller. You do have to watch where the stick connects with the rim because the sound varies greatly. Uh, I'll demonstrate. Not good. Nasal, thin. That's not bad. That's pretty thick and full sounding. If I was playing a rock tune, I'd probably go for something like that. A jazz sound, maybe I want to make it a little thinner, a little less full. And then in the Latin style, same thing. But you notice I, I made it a little higher. Because at this point, you're kind of emulating a clave or you know, some kind of Latin American instrument. Let me play all three of these cross sticks with some music. Three.